Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to quickly share my thoughts on why I have been choosing a boot with a flex of 150. I wanna share the reasoning behind my choice to hopefully help you become more aware of how to choose a flex that is right for you. First off, I am 67 kilograms and about 170 centimeters tall. I got my first 150 flex when I weighed possibly 58 kilos. And this is a big reason why people shy away from getting a boot of this flex. I personally don't think how light someone is will affect whether or not they can ski in a stiff boot. Many people believe getting a 150 flex will push you back seat. While I don't believe this is technically true, the boot won't technically push you anywhere it just keeps its shape better under higher load. With a stiffer boot, people tend to shy away from the force being transmitted from the snow up through their body, and then they tend to move back. This is just an overly simplified explanation to try and explain the technical physics. So with that in mind, basically a stiffer boot has less dissipation of transmitted forces, which can therefore create faster rebound and stability in certain snow conditions which can be really handy on hard snow performing turns with the intent to get fast snappy rebound. The more a boot flexes, the more kinetic energy is lost, which in turn can either create faster ski snow interaction or slower ski snow interaction. A few conditions that a stiff boot work really well in are hard packed groomed, packed powder groomed, ice groomed, spring slush, spring corn, stiffer skis, and longer skis. There are downsides though, and an important thing to note with a stiffer boot is that it can also be a detriment in certain snow, where you need a little more play and finesse in your skiing, and not so much of an aggressive force transmission, like in softer cruddier snow, off-piste aggressive chalky snow, moguls and icy frozen coral reef. So why would I get a stiff boot if it's worse in those conditions? Well, the thing about a stiff boot is you can always make it softer with a few quick adjustments, but you can never make a soft boot stiffer. On my warm-up run is when I start feeling the snow and deciding on how I will do my boots up. And this can change through the day as the snow changes or as I change skis. If I want the boot to become more stiff, I will tighten the boots and the buckles as tight as they can go without losing circulation. This will keep the cuff up and around the leg giving you the most stiffness from the boot structure. If I want the boot to become softer, I will start loosening the power strap and then the buckles until I have the desired effect. Essentially, if you undo all of your buckles on a 150 flex boot and ski like this, the boot could be a 60 flex boot. There will be no support. This is why I choose a stiff boot, not because I always ski it cranked to the max, but just because I have the option there if I need it. Most of the time I'll keep my boot at around 80% of its possible tightness. So does this mean you need a stiff boot too? Absolutely not. How stiff of a boot do you really need depends on many factors, but a good rule of thumb is unless you're a really advanced carver and you can get some big edge angles with your hip very close to the snow, you probably don't need a 150 flex boot. Even some very advanced carvers like a 130 flex boot. So just because you're awesome at carving, it doesn't mean you necessarily need a stiffer boot. It does come down to personal preference in the end. If you're an advanced intermediate or an advanced skier into technical skiing, you would probably appreciate a 130 flex, but I would recommend your boot fitter and your ski instructor evaluate your personal needs with you before you purchase. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you are interested in improving your skiing, please head over to the Projected Productions website to learn from the world's best ski instructors and coaches. Until next time.